Below is the structure of an ester made in reversible reaction between a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. This is a wonderful question. The process by which a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol, it is called esterification. So the process is called esterification. This is the process. If a question comes in an exam, what do we call a process by which an an alcohol reacts with the carboxylic acid is called esterification. Before we answer the questions that are down, I've got two nice questions here. We need to know the name of this ester. What is the name of this ester? You need to understand the name of this ester. We know that in as much as we are preparing for exams, we need to make sure that we understand this particular topic. So, what you need to understand is that the, the way it is written like this, this one, this is a carboxylic acid that is here, and this one is an alcohol. But with the name, we start with an alcohol. So, an alcohol that is having two carbons, it is called ethanol. But we are going to call it ethyl. This is what you are going to call it, ethyl. So if you, if you don't understand this, you can check out for my other videos on how this gets to be formed and how the names get to be changed. Then this one that is here, this is a carboxylic acid. So have you seen, it is written like this, but with the name we start with an alcohol, then a carboxylic acid. In this case, one, two, three, a carboxylic acid with three carbons, what do we call that? That is a butanoic acid. So butanoic acid will be changed to butanoate. So I'll say butanoate. This is what you are supposed to know and understand. So the name of this ester is called ethyl butanoate. You are done. That is the name. So you know that an alcohol that is used in this case, what is the name of that alcohol? An alcohol is called ethanol. That is an alcohol. Then what is the name of that carboxylic acid? It is called butanoic acid. So it is a butanoic acid. So with this information, we can answer the questions that are down in an easy way. So we've expanded the question. I've explained how this gets to be formed. Then we can answer the questions that are down in an easy way. So if you are new to this platform, don't forget to follow me. Don't forget to like this particular video. So the question is saying, draw the structure of the carboxylic acid used in the reaction. What is the name of this carboxylic acid? I've written it there. It is even there. The name of that uh, carboxylic acid is called what? Butanoic acid. It is called butanoic acid. So we just need to write the chemical formula first of all we write the chemical formula what is the chemical formula the chemical formula it is already here i've seen one two three it is having like you do this c3 i've seen like this this is what you are going to do how many atoms of hydrogens are going to be there so the atoms of hydrogens that are going to be there you count them so it's just a matter of what it's just a matter of uh, counting uh, them. So we say, okay, the acid that is uh, used here, we count the moment, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we say seven there. Then I say C-O-O-H, like this. That is C-O-O-H. This is the reason why we are calling this a carboxylic acid. The functional group of any carboxylic acid, it is like this. So we must have COOH. Then we just write a chemical formula for this. Have you seen? We just say one, two, three. And we say one there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. Then I put a double bond there. Double bond there. Then I put O H. I can write it like this. There is no problem. So this is a what? This is butanoic acid. This is the structural formula for butanoic acid. This is what you need to know and understand. 
we move now to the last question. The question is saying, state one condition necessary for the formation of the Easter above. So one condition necessary, what you need to know that that process is called esterification, where a carboxylic acid reacts with an alcohol. So what is going to be formed is this. This is what is going to be formed and this is what you need to understand. We get to form an ester plus water. So the conditions that are necessary for this to happen, you need to have a catalyst. You need to have what? A catalyst. And the name of this catalyst is called sulfuric acid. We need to have what? We need to have sulfuric acid. So as a condition, you need to have a catalyst called sulfuric acid so that it can catalyze the reaction. And you also need to understand that we can also involve heating, which is uh, one of the conditions. So you can put heating is a condition required or use concentrated sulfuric acid to catalyze the reaction. This is what you need to understand. Why are we using sulfuric acid? Because sulfuric acid acts as a catalyst for the reaction. This is what you need to understand. Those of you that could like to join me, this is Addison J. Zuru Tutor. You can follow me on all social media platforms. And if you want tuitions in mathematics, chemistry, physics, biology, you can WhatsApp me on this number. This is an online school. So this is our number you can get in touch with me on this number this is my personal number which is 0971066747 you can whatsapp me on this number we are here to help you clear your exams thank you so much have a wonderful day